Laws of Exponents I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will explore how to apply both quotient and product rule. Question here is apply the quotient rule and evaluate each of the following. I have kind of extended this question and included product rule also as you can see in the examples. Now there are four problems to solve. I will do two of them for you part A and B and part C and D is for you to try. So let's start with part A which is 3 to the power of 7 divided by 3 square divided by 3 cube. Now when you have division like this then you should always do from left to right. If you do it from left to right you'll always get the right answer and that is the rule. So let's start doing from left to right. 3 to the power of 7 divided by 3 square will be 3 to the power of 7 minus 2 and then we have divide by 3 cube. So that gives us 3 to the power of 5 and divide by 3 to the power of 3 will give us 5 minus 3 right. So this is equal to 3 to the power of 5 minus 3 is 2 which is 9. Well we could have got straight also writing 3 as the base and exponent as 7 minus 2 minus 3. Anyway you get 9 which is the correct answer for the first one. Now let's do part b which is 4 to the power of 5 times 4 divided by 4 cube. Now if power is not mentioned it is always 1 right 4 to the power of 1. So there is no need to write but I'm just writing 1 here just to tell you that you have to assume it to be 1. Anything to the power of 1 is the same thing, right? So here we'll apply the power and quotient rule together. So we'll have first we'll always move from left to right. So that is key. If you do division first and then multiplication, then you'll get the wrong answer. Multiplication and division, treat them at the same level. And if both the operations are involved, always do from left to right. So we'll first do the multiplication, left to right, okay? 4 plus 1, 6. So you get 4 to the power of 5 plus 1. And then when we divide by 4 to the power of 3, it should be minus 3, right? So we could write it straight also. So we get 4 to the power of 5 plus 1, 6. 6 minus 3 is 3. 4 cube, right? 4 cube is what? 4 times 4 is 16. And 16 times 4 is 64. So we get 64 as our answer. i like you to do these two questions on your own. 2 to the power of 5 divided by 2 square divided by 2 cube and 5 to the power of 5 divided by 5 square times 5. Remember you should always do from left to right when only multiplication and division are the operators. I hope you understand the method and you appreciate it. Thank you.